Hi there folks and welcome to this introduction to the Calvarian Automated Patching Solution. The patching solution integrates into your service desk and change management processes. It reduces some of the labour intensive patch management steps. It gives control back to application owners by leveraging self-service management and it simplifies your configuration manager configuration. Let's take a look at the solution in action. So you can see that I'm using the IT NetX portal on top of System Center Service Manager. The solution, however, is friendly to other service desks. Within my service offering, I have a couple of request offerings. The first of those allows me to assign servers to a particular schedule. My CMDB already contains the servers that I want to manage, and I've defined a number of schedules which are available. So as an application owner, I can now simply pick the servers I'm interested in and assign them to the correct schedule for my application. So we can see there are four schedules at the moment and I'm going to pick one and assign them. So under the hood there are a number of run books which then take care of assigning the servers to the right Active Directory groups and in turn that means that those get assigned to the correct groups within Configuration Manager. So heading back to the service catalogue, let's take a look at the other request offering. Our second request offering creates a change request. And that change request follows the usual change management process that we follow. I'm going to select the software update group. And see we have a number of software update groups available. And the schedules that we saw in our previous step are also available. Now the software update groups are populated automatically from Configuration Manager. So let's just take a quick look in Config Manager and we can see that those software update groups are there and currently there are no deployments assigned to the demo software update group. That's the update group that I'm going to use. So I simply select that and then select the schedules to deploy to. Rather than using maintenance periods, which obviously can lead to some complexity in the Configuration Manager configuration, we use automation to enable and disable the deployments at the appropriate times. So let's take a look at the change request that's been created. So as I said, this would follow our normal change management process for managing the change. In my demo environment, I have the first review activity set to be automatically approved, and we can see that's approved now. We then go to a create patch deployment activity which has got the start and end times associated with it and then a final review activity where we check compliance. We can see there are a number of run books involved in the solution and we're now looking at the AD group run books which are used for managing the groups that machines are added to and then we have the run books for managing the deployment process itself. So you can see that we've created a deployment and that deployment is then set to a disabled state that means that there's no chance of the patches being deployed until the appropriate time that's been selected. Once we get to that appropriate time, there's a separate run book which enables the deployment. And then again, as we move out of the change window, the deployment is once again disabled. I find that this approach is much easier to manage than managing maintenance schedules in Configuration Manager, particularly with overlapping groups and overlapping maintenance schedules. So let's take a look at that deployment run book. Okay, and we can see that's actually running right now. And that's going to create the deployment group. And as I said, it's going to set that to be disabled so that the patches don't get deployed straight away. And if we look in Configuration Manager, I'm just going to quickly refresh that. So we can see now that there are three deployments being created, one for each of the schedules which was selected and the Configuration Manager GUI is just slightly behind it showing that the first one is being enabled. I'm just going to refresh that. There we go, we can see that those are all in a disabled state. Once we get to that appropriate change window, those will be enabled and the patches will be downloaded and deployed. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the automated patching solution. If you're interested in this or any of our other products, please visit www.calvarian.com.